What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a sweet day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in Farmer's Dynasty. We've got lots of work to do, you guys. In the last episode, we kind of fixed up our house. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is going to shield us from the elements and kind of keep us safe and warm, which uh, is the general idea of a house. So it's <laughs> it's functioning now. It's not pristine, but it's functioning. So we've got a place to live, and that's a good first step, I think. Uh, the rest of this place is still in tatters, though. Look at the garage, man. Everything's just totally broken down. So there's lots and lots of work to do on this farm, you guys, and uh, we'd better start doing it. So you guys, the idea for this episode is that we fix the fence, like the, the outer fence line, the actual boundary fence of the farm, and then we go see if we can find some work. Maybe at John? Uh, John's right close, and I think he had some work for us to do in the last episode, we just didn't do it. So we'll go talk to him and see what kind of work he's got for us, but first, we're gonna fix the fence. Uh, another thing I did was I, I parked both of the vehicles inside the garages, which seems to work fine. The only strange glitch that I found is... When you get off the vehicle, it'll snap you into the room next to the vehicle. So that's not ideal, but it's not a huge problem. Um, it does it with both of them. Uh, I, I, it didn't break in any way, it was just a little bit weird. That's really the only thing I can complain about, and it's not that bad anyway. Okay, let's go get started on the fence. Where does the fence begin and end? Is there is there a fence line up here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, this is outside of the fence line. That's fine. So, alright, this kind of makes up part of the fence. Uh, and there's no fence at all to speak of here. So, maybe a fence isn't important when trying to keep animals in, because, uh... <laughs> this whole farm doesn't have a fence. <laughs> is this ours? I hope not. This is gonna be a lot of stuff to fix. Yeah, this piece doesn't belong to us. Okay, great. So, the fence is nowhere near as long as I thought it was gonna be. This, sh this should probably be ours, though. Nope. Okay, that's how that should look. Alright, so the only bits of fence that we have to fix start at the cow shed, uh, go around here to the chicken coop, then there's this bit of chicken coop fence that needs fixing. We gotta check all of this. There's this little fence uh, between the house and the rest of the farm. We'll fix that too. And then uh, there's the rest of the border fence that goes back around to the garage. So it's not actually too much to fix. Let's fix this bit, see how it goes. That's looking way better already. Alright, we started at the gate. Let's fix this bit. Nice! That bit's fine. Okay. That's that's definitely gonna need some repairs. <laughs> Alright, we might as well just take care of like every bordering piece of repairable farm, if you know what I mean just to start on the outside and kind of work our way back in again. Let's use the engineer's side to make sure we haven't missed a piece. Everything's looking pretty good. Okay. Is that not the same icon that appears over that secret chest we found in the attic? That's kind of weird. Obviously you can cook stuff here. Ooh! Cozy! Nice! Alright, we, uh, we should come hang here sometime. This is a sweet place to go fishing. We really need a fishing pole too. I can't wait to get a fishing pole. I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be trimmer and fishing pole in that order because uh, I really, really want to go fishing. The great thing about fishing, obviously, is uh, 
Once we can fish, we can feed ourselves for next to nothing. I don't know how easy it is to catch fish, but surely you're gonna catch some, and obviously you can eat them. So that's gonna be a huge advantage. We don't have to like grow or buy stuff to eat it. We could just fish. So what I think I'll do is uh, fish a whole bunch when we get the fishing pole, and then save a bunch of fish in the basement, and then not worry about food for a while while we're fixing up the farm. I think that's probably the plan. Okay, we're not gonna fix these upper ones for now. We're just gonna fix these lower ones. All right, that's all worked pretty well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to fix down here. I know this seems like a strange order to fix it in. I'm just trying to get the fence line fixed, even though there isn't really a fence line to speak of. There's uh, some bits of fence in some places. <laughs> After we've done this kind of outer fence line repair, in the next episode, I think we'll, we'll start taking it building by building again. Like, this has still got quite a lot of work to be done on it. Uh, this obviously has got loads of work to be done on it. The garage has got loads of work to be done on it. The chicken coop is in pieces, really. So there's no shortage of stuff to repair, you guys. <laughs> I might even start doing stuff in between episodes, because there's, there's lots to repair. Nicely done. Okay, that's the garage doors fixed on this side. The other cool thing about the garage is it's got doors on both sides, so that's super convenient. I mean, you can pull it in that side and pull it out right here. <laughs> so that's super great. I mean, uh, there is a big gap around the side here, so you could you could always drive it around, but that's convenient. All right, we're almost done with the fence, I think. Let's uh, let's keep checking here. This gate's a little messed up. Great. Looks like there's some work to do on the swing set, too. <laughs> this never ends. There's so much stuff to do. What I really like about it is uh, there's often more than one tier of repairs to make. I mean, I mentioned that before, but that's really cool. So you can put the planks on the roof, and uh, once you have enough money, you can buy tiles. Like, I'll show you guys in a minute, but one part of the barn is covered in tiles. And uh, you can do that to every roof. Obviously, it's going to cost some money, but it's really, really cool. Okay, that's the basic fence line fixed, I think. Great, okay, let's leave this open. Because uh, we're going to take the truck to John's house in a minute. I wonder, should we fix this? We might as well, you guys. Let's just get this done really quickly. Great! Nicely done! Just make sure it's straight. <laughs> Everything's looking good. Right, this, this grass is way too long though. I can't wait until we can trim this grass. It's gonna make me feel so much better. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go speak to John and see what he's got for us to do. Do, 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 do. John's, John's just next door, so it's, it's 
not going to be a long trip, but I don't know where John's going to want us to go, so I thought, might as well take the truck, just in case we have to go on a mission. Where do we park? Uh, is this good? This doesn't, this doesn't seem right. I should probably have parked on the other side of this wall. Sorry, buddy. Uh... Wow, it kind of, it places you quite far out of the out of the vehicle when you get out, so bear that in mind. Um, it's going to place you to the left of your car or your tractor or whatever it is, so maybe don't park with the left side of your car or tractor too close to anything, or it might, it might get you stuck in the geometry. It hasn't done that to me yet, I've had no problems, but just to be safe, you know, because when you get out the car, you kind of get out over here. What is going on with the textures in this vehicle? Wow. We've, uh, we've covered it in rubber because we're, we're really scared that we're going to get hit by lightning. That's the only weird thing about us. <laughs> hey John, what do you think about my rubber car? It's amazing. I can do it to your car for cheap. You want it? It's better to be safe, dude. There's nothing wrong with me. It's, it's perfectly logical. Thousands of people get hit by lightning every year, man. Uh, I could do it for cheap. <laughs> he thinks we're crazy. That's not a good sign, because this town is full of weirdos, you guys. Undoubtedly, John's the most normal one, but he's still kind of weird. Look how he's standing. You're a weirdo, John. Okay, let's see what he's got for us to do. Good to see you. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Damn it, John's got no work for us. Alright, we're That's gonna have to go visit thanks. somebody else. I suppose we could go back to Oliver and see if he's got any work for us. Or we could meet some new people. How do we meet new people? Let's go have a look. Oliver's down here. Clara, you notice a lady by her farm. Perhaps it would be nice to say hello. Hmm. Rewards. Plow and 500 social points. Wait a minute. Okay, that's Oliver's house. So this is Clara's house. I know what's happened here. Oliver took the tractor and Clara took the plow and they're going to split the profits. If that plow's red and rusted, We've got some serious problems. Where's the police station on this map, you guys? <laughs> I need to report a crime. Okay, <laughs> let's go speak to Clara and see what she's all about. Maybe she's maybe she's a little more normal than everybody else. Okay, we've got to go back down this road, cross over one road, and then take a right. Let's do that. Okay, John, uh, I might come buy some stuff later. Keep that trimmer handy, guy. I need it. And remember what I said. I can, I can kit out your car with rubber for cheap, man. Come look how good it looks. You, you come by any time and take a look at the car. <laughs> I'm right over there. Okay. Ah, safety first, you guys. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, okay, that's the road we cross over. It should then be our next right. This has got to be Clara's farm right here. Wow, this farm looks way nicer than Oliver's farm. It's, it's way bigger by the looks of things. Hello, is this where we go in? Ah, she, she looks like she's got some work to be done as well. Clara? Mm. New quest, Clara's job. You notice a lady by her farm. Perhaps it would be nice to say hello. Check map for updated objectives. Is that her? Why, hello! Sorry to so just... So good to see you, sweetheart. Would you help me? Uh... What can I do for you, ma'am? My brother is working abroad. He should have been back home a week ago. But he's still busy working. I'd get that I checked out. I need one of my fields plowed and cultivated. Will you do it for me, please? Use that old plow over there by the barn. You can keep it when you're done. My brother plans on buying a new one anyway. Really? No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, I'm gonna go check that plow out. I'm... I'm... Almost completely sure that you stole it from my grandfather's farm. A. B. You don't know me at all and you called me sweetheart. C. Your brother's overseas, and you don't know where he is for a week? He was supposed to be back a week ago? I'd get that checked out. I'd, I'd call somebody about that. Your brother may be in big trouble. What country was he in? <laughs> That's probably a good place to start. Anyway, I'm gonna go check out the plow, and I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Do 
I have to bring my tractor? All right, okay, you're less suspicious. This looks less like my grandfather's plow. Cool, I guess we're gonna have to go back home and get the tractor. That's not ideal. At least uh, this place is just around the corner. It's not gonna take forever. See ya. Okay, this is still clearly part of the tutorial. That's great though, because uh, we get a free plow and we learn how to plow a field. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go put this back in the garage. So weird. So weird. Alrighty. Let's get the tractor over there. Farming simulator. Super easy. Quest updated. Clara's job. Plow, Clara's field. Fine. This is clearly the field that needs plowing. R to lower the machine? Uh... No, that's fine. Good. What are we doing? Ooh, I like this dust cloud. Just be advised, clearly uh, you can plow stuff that's not field, so you're gonna have to be careful, because I just plowed a huge hole into, uh, into Clara's lawn over here. <laughs> that's not great. Ooh, this is trickier than it looks. This is trickier than it looks. I like it. I'm gonna have to get used to this. I'm gonna have to get way better at this. <laughs> Let's see how she looks after the second row. getting there I'll tell you something that's really strange is it's it's got like four four digging things on the plow and when you're done with a row it just makes one massive hole so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work or not maybe I'm doing it wrong let's take a look let's take a little closer look here yeah those are very deep I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but uh We'll see here when I'm done. Okay, I think I'm going to get this, this plowing business done in between episodes and maybe stop just before the end and uh, we can see what happens when we're done. But once we've done this field, we'll get paid with the plow and then we'll be able to plow our own fields. So that's great, you guys. I think I'm going to leave this here today and we'll speak to Clara after we've plowed this field at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.